as we live in, in these last and, and dark times, I'm going to keep reminding you that time is running out. You can see God moving the pieces all around the globe, preparing the world for the rapture of the church, the tribulation period, the coming back of the sun. If there's ever been a time for us to keep our eyes fixed on Christ, Hold on tight to community and brothers and sisters in the faith. If there's ever been a time for us to be serious about the scriptures and about knowing truth, until that day comes when they take away the Bible from us in this nation. And all you have is the page or what you have instilled in your heart until we feel the pressure of persecution. Man, I want to encourage you more than ever before. Man, love Christ more than anything else in this life. Hold on to your family and brothers and sisters tight. Let's turn away from worldliness and from vanity and from things that's not going to matter a hundred years from now. That all these things we're running after, that's a chasing of the wind. I was sitting in my car the other day in a driveway and was reminded. I remember when I was excited when this car was new. And now it was just a vehicle. And in that moment, I was reminded that everything we run after is going to betray you after a little while. Your new iPhone, your new house, your new car, your new fill in the blank is going to betray you. And you're going to wake up and realize the only thing that's going to really satisfy as I sat in my vehicle. This thing does not satisfy. And I was reminded this week in a moment that the only thing that has continuously, perpetually satisfied the deepest longings of my soul is my own intimate, personal, deep, real, relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ that I find peace in my prayer room God. I find strength in my prayer room I find grace in my prayer room help in my prayer room I feel his presence in my prayer room I feel love in my prayer room when my soul is longing man you can give me a new toy It'll keep me excited for a few weeks, a few months, maybe even a few years, but it will betray you. You won't be excited about it anymore. You won't clean it anymore. The newness wears off. And then the only thing that remains is a longing heart. It's not enough sex to satisfy your heart. Jesus! Not enough alcohol. Not enough blunts. It's not enough for anything you chase that's going to satisfy. Let me go deeper. Not enough likes on Instagram. You could keep making video for likes. It's not enough. Eventually it's going to betray you. I wish I could just grab the American church by her shoulders and shake her into repentance. Snatch her away from her love affair, her whoredom with worldly things. We such hoes. Have all these other lovers in and out of the bedroom of our hearts. Like Christ ain't being the best lover you've ever had. We're such prostitutes for the trinkets of this world. I come against every idol in this room. Every idol in that overflow room. Every idol watching me right now. Everything on the throne of your heart competing for the supremacy of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I come against every day God in this room. Everything we put our faith in more than Christ. Everything, every love affair more than Christ. I come against every idol in this room. I pray it would fall off the table of your heart and his arms would be broken on the floor. That it would never get past second place in your life. Not a stage, not a platform, not a microphone, not a position, not a title, not a husband or wife, not a man, boyfriend or girlfriend, not a new job, a house or car, not your business or your entrepreneurial venture, not even your vision board. I pray they would never have no better than second place. Topple every idol. May we hear the whisper of Paul writing to the church at Colossae about the supremacy of our Lord. And may he firmly be planted on the hearts of your sons and daughters in these last days.